What's going on guys, Sid here. Um, got some mail to go over with you. Uh, I got one thing on Saturday, um, this letter here, and then uh, these two packages today, Monday. And then um, also there's some thrift store pickups from late on Friday. So go ahead and we'll get to those first. Um, this is all from the Salvation Army uh, thrift store. First up, we have a nice signed book find. This is Arrogant Capital by Kevin Phillips. Uh, you can see the autographed copy sticker on there. And there on the title page there, nicely signed in thin black Sharpie. Uh, Kevin Phillips is a very famous uh, author, uh, American author of political and economical or books on, books on economics. Uh, he's written, I believe, 14 books. There he is right there. Uh, America's leading political analyst and forecaster. So he's been on uh, radio. He's been on uh, PBS with Bill Moyer. So very cool. Nice find. Um, this was under $4 for everything. So it was about 50 cents a piece on all this stuff. So there's that. The rest are going to be videos. Got some pretty good ones here. We got uh, Roy Rogers and Jesse James at Bay on Good Times. Um, boxes obviously beat up, but still, it's kind of cool to find a Roy Rogers film. Also got Gabby Hayes. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. This is actually since I started back collecting VHS. This is my first Night of the Living Dead film. Night of the Living Dead, uh, of course, has been released many, many times um, because uh, there's no copyright out there. It's copyright free, so everybody can release it. Uh, this is uh, from 1988. This is the release date. So pretty cool. Public Domain. I couldn't think of the damn wording. Public Domain. Anyway, these two are really cool to find. I used to have these as a kid, um, but put them in my video store when I had a video store. Um, I co-owned a video store back in uh, 1994 in Florida, um, and I uh, never did get the, my videos back uh, when I left the video store. Anyway, it's another long story, um, but super happy to find these. I, I recognize them both right away. Bruce Lee, superhero, and Bruce Lee, the Invincible, starring Bruce Lee. So... Both films are from the, I think the 70s, possible early 80s. And we have No Safe Haven, starring Wings Hauser. And last but not least, Train to Fight on Imperial. So, pretty cool stuff there. So now we'll get on to the mail. First up, this is going to be a payment. It was nice to get this stuff in the mail. Uh, it's a money order. So this is going to be for an autographed book that I, I sold on Facebook. So awesome. Next up, a package here. This is going to be a VHS. So let's see how I open this because I want to reuse this box. I think they open it right here. I remember watching this as a kid. I remember renting it from uh, Albertsons. If you guys know what Albertsons is, it's a big a, uh, grocery store. I remember renting this from Albertsons. It stars uh, a couple of the stars from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Edwin Neal and Marilyn Burns. This is Future Kill. And uh, great cover art there by H.R. Giger on Vestron video. The box is beat to shit, but still cool. I'm happy to add that to the collection. Alright, and last but not least, another TTM, only my second uh, 
for this year. This, this is my uh, large size SASE. And they just barely canceled that two dollar stamp, damn it. Uh, so open this up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and here's a little note. He wrote it on my note that I wrote him. Sid found these in storage. Enjoy. And these are a couple of issues of Autograph Times magazine. And they are both signed as you can see. Well, here's one of them signed. Uh, it says, Sid, thank you for your interest and friendship. Steve Buchanan. It looks like it's signed. Uh, it might be Steve there, but Buchanan. Steve Buchanan um, wrote some articles for Autograph Times magazine when it was being published. And, and here, I believe, is the article on Evil Knievel that he wrote. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Don't know if any of you guys remember Autograph Times, but I know I sure do. It's a great magazine. It was published about the same time as uh, Autograph Collector magazine, and a lot of people liked Autograph Times better than Autograph Collector. There we go. Evil Knievel, showstopper, headliner, and icon by Steve Buchanan. So very cool. Uh, I met Steve uh, on Facebook through the Facebook group Drama Free Autographs. Uh, what's up, Russell? Um, and he let uh, he he just uh, said that one day uh, in a comment or something that uh, he wrote for Autograph Times. And I was like, hey, you should sign one if you have any copies. You should sign one and send it to me. He's like, hey, send me a SASC and I'll do that. So he not only sent me one but he sent me two. Let's see if he signed this one on the inside. This is Autograph Times from 2001. And I believe the article he did was on James Arness. Let's see if he signed this one on the inside. I wish they still published an autograph collecting magazine. I used to love getting these and reading them. Yep. And again, interview with James Arness by Steve Buchanan. And he signed it right there to my pal Sid. Thanks, Steve Buchanan, 2014. So very, very cool. Real, real psyched to get these. I can't wait to read these and relive some good memories from back in the day. This one's from 1999. So very cool. Um, some Pretty good mail. Last couple of days. Nice finds at the thrift store. On the cheap. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you.